be included. Yeah, I, I, I could include it from the first place. Even when I was streaming, I could still include more, yeah. I'm gonna hope for the best. Welcome everyone. We've had a few problems uh, with the uh, with the stream tonight. Uh, Maldi's back streaming, and we are here back in Brazil. Bem-vindo ao Grand Premio, Grand Premio do Brasil, do Chao de São Paulo. Uh, we're here for round 21, and it's the sprint qualified, and Crooker is trying to get some positions now, Matt, which is absolutely crucial. Uh, try and get back in the lobby. See if on your end, Matt, the, the stream is lagging for me as well. We've got Crooker trying to go around the outside um, of Ilton, and Toby's trying to get involved for our new driver. He's battling Danny here in the middle sector. Uh, Matt, are you back in the game? I am. Uh, I'm, I've changed control. I was hoping that could actually fix it or something. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just see. Maybe you can search the stream up on your phone and see if it's lagging or not. Toby and Danny are going side by side as they go to the Estos Senna. And Tugrat leads the Brazilian Grand Prix Spring Qualifying. And McLaren, no, that's Crooken. Oh, no. Crooken's made a mistake there. This is crucial. Which, which is out. It, Matt, and there's a... There's a this spinning out Toby. by Mayer and Crooken span. Toby. Crooken's off the track. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is a disaster. Matt, is the stream lagging? Uh, I'm just trying to fucking tell you four things at once. Looks Jesus. fine for me for now. Are we in the lobby? Are we spectating now? Yeah, uh, looks all good. Yeah, I know the quality's a little bit. I mean, bad. obviously the quality sounds great, but... We're going to have to just pull through. Unless, unless you, you want to do a quick, a quick double try in between the sprints and the race. Or, uh, yeah, we'll try. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that. I've changed controller. Maybe the change controller might fix it or something. Well, if, if the stream doesn't lag, we might as well just carry on, um, Matt. To be fair, but Matt, uh, yeah. So, uh, Yavis is P1 on your screen. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, May Yavis, Matex, Cargo, Mika, Elton, Danny, Trolley, Joey, Repo, Slup, Kiskeno, Yilmaz, Guy Grell, Kibia, Callum, Cookin, and Toby and Petrus. Cookin is all the way down in 16th, mate. He needs a miracle now. He needs a miracle in this Grand Prix. Matex is P2 at the moment. He gets seven points. Gap is two points in favour of Matex at the moment. So, Booker needs to really sort his shit out. And then we've got Mika now going side by side with Ilton. Through the second sector now, side by side. Charlie and Joey, Charlie and Joey, side by side into turn six, Maddie. And Joey's got the move done, P7. Very weird seeing Joey in a Mercedes, Matt, I must say. Very weird. But yeah, Joey's up to P7 now. And Mika is um, a new driver, Matt, and he's looking pretty strong. But I'll tell you someone who's looking strong here, Matt. Prago F1. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, Matt, but fucking hell, um, Prago's P3. Um, I don't. I didn't think I'd be saying that um, in here, but I'm just going. We're going past my. Um, Old, well, where I was sitting in real life, but talking about where I was sitting in real life, DJ Danny's up the inside of Mika now as they come down to turn one, and Danny's gone a bit wide there, Matt. And that's compromised his exit. Ilton's up to P4, and Mika's lost two positions there. He's down to P6 now, he's got Joey on the back of him as well. As Joey and Mika. Down the Rara into the Cedar de Lago, and Joey's got the move done. Look at that great move there. From the Mercedes, absolutely incredible stuff Jerry's, from the Mercedes. Jerry and Mika both Danny's used that all the rest of it. This is good, Matt. Yeah. This is good, Matt. Danny's P5. Um, he's got Ilton in front of him. Much yeah, yeah. better race here today than he, he had yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so Ilton, Danny, Jerry and Mika have all drained the yeah, rest of it. They're all below 20% here. Oh, Danny's gone! Danny's gone. He spun it on the curb. And that's Drapo gone as well. Drapo span as well. That's going to give in a few positions. Yeah. Luckily, this is not the full race, but this puts them in a bad place for the full race. So. Oh, you know. Toby, I think, made a mistake as well. He's down to P15 now, Matt. Bloody hell. I mean, this is very, um, very weird territory. Krago's P3. In the tier two Brazil racing, Yavas Tugra, Matt. This is something that I haven't, we haven't really spoke about. Yavas Tugra is really pushing on in this race. He's in front of Matex. This 
is crucial for the championship as well, Matt. And now you've got um, Kroken versus Gartel Yan Yilmaz as they come round. Yilmaz is the new Turkish driver and Kroken's going to come through and he's going to pick up P13. Next up is Callum, Matt. Yep. Kroken needs to find a miracle, as I said before, and he needs to try and get these positions, Matt. But I don't think he's going to score points in this sprint, I'm not going to lie. And that's Skeno. Skeno's out of the track, Matt. You're very quiet today. What's going on? Just Skeno's off the track. Oh, I bet my brain shocks them all the stream what's going on and stuff. But I'll tell you what, yeah, car goes under fire it's here. It's very weird, isn't it, Matt? The sprint, it's very, um, it comes at you very quickly, so I understand. Um, Maybe next season, Matt, we should put it on Sprint Qualify, give ourselves a bit of a crack. Uh, Skeno's retired then. He's going to go and have a cup of tea before the race. There you go. Look at that. Great stuff. Uh, the Elton's there. all over the back of Cargo here. Here we go. Slup and um, Watch Daniel out for as, well. as they come round. And look at that. Slup's off the track. Look at that. Slup mm. is off the track like a slut there. And Cargo's lost two positions. Wow, he's lost one position. He hasn't lost two. He was in peace. Yeah, trying to, trying, to, trying to assume that that's going to happen. Well, Krago though, P4. Oh, oh and Joey. that's Joey's on the inside at Naranjina. And then you've got Krago now trying to hold that position. Krago needs to hold this position, Matt, if he wants to... to um, And he's off the track. Oh, God. Now now he's going to try and get him through. Bagulu. Yeah, just going to chain reaction now. Next person to take to is Mika. Mika. I think we had seen Mika, but with only 1k. Mika, he's from uh, the Netherlands, man. Probably not. I feel sorry for Crooken here, Matt. Um, I don't think we caught it on stream. I think, well, we've just caught it on stream. But talking about catching it on stream, Callum's in a stick stream of slup as they come down into turn one. Estos Senna running outside, ladle a ladle. And um, Callum needs to uh, stay behind him there. He has to yield. He can't get the move done. He's going to try and get the DRS now. Overtake mode. Down the straight. Down the retro posture. This is going to be a nice easy move, I think. Into just see that the Lago. No, no, no. It won't be. Great defending there from the Ferrari. Oh, Callum. Callum's going to try and hold it around the outside. Here we go. This is uh, this is all helping Crooken to catch up to these two, Matt. To try and get as many positions up on the grid as possible. Um, but you know, anything can happen in Brazil, Matt. This has been a great sprint qualifying so far, I must say. It's been absolutely incredible stuff. Uh, incredible scenes here in Brazil, I must say. Oh, Callum is But we all know, Matt, that Crooken's race pace is very good, and we know that he can keep out of trouble usually, so. I'm hoping this is a anomaly yeah. and he can just. Crooken push on, but has got DRS on his teammate and slap it. Callum's also got the DRS now on Slup as well. Slup's got no ERS. Oh, we're going to break himself. A bit deep. Yep, yeah, Callum's going to do a switchback for move here. It's going to do uh, Lewis Hamilton's mass, uh, Max was up in it. Matt, uh, there's been some action as well. That's Trolley versus Mika into the seat of the Largo. Callum, on the outside. Also, Matt. If oh, he's oh, there's contact. contact. Time there's they've contact. gone off the track. Fuck me, hallelujah. And Crooker's trying to find his way through. Fuck me, hallelujah. Jesus Christ, this is absolute season. Crago, he's fucked. Back to Crago, usual. And that's not going to help Slup's. Oh, and Slup's trying to die bomb Callum now. And Slup has now got a three second time wow. penalty. And Slup's three second time penalty, man. He's going to drop him down to 14th place minimum. Then again, Slup was forced. Yeah, Slup was forced onto to cut to cut the corner there. Yeah, kind of didn't give him much room. So, um, I don't even know, but Jerry's up to P3 now, Matt. There's so much action in this race. Crooken. I can't keep up. Oh, so he's got best right. Nigro versus Trolley. Trolley's on the move here in Brazil. He's been pushed off the circuit. Some Lewis Hamilton splashing his match championship. And Trolley's going to have the DRS down the next uh, part of the track. Yeah. Oh, Nigro so had a DRS himself. So. Come on, Trolley. Vamos que vamos. Lado a lado. Um, lado a lado com Nigro. Side by side with Nigro, that man. Um, and he's now going to try and. Oh, he's going to have that dirty air now in the middle sector. But with these cars, Matt. 
it's nice and easy to follow compared to last year. So yeah. You won't have too many issues. I mean, I would have liked the last year's cards yesterday. <laughs> it would definitely be a lot, a lot easier to I mean, keep. you were running pretty well, man, until you fucked it. Krago's going side by side with Toby on the inside, and he's... More contact. Can't oh, just stay out of his way. Well, I'm, I'm to Mexico. Mexico was really good. I thought I just forgot how to race. But I think it's just the nature of Brazil, man. It's just, I don't know, people are just hyped. Uh, Cargo's going fast. slow. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's going um, to the pits. He's coming into the pit lane, might be retiring. He's trying to maybe let Toby through, maybe he knows uh, I don't know why it would, because you still will get two positions. Unless he's got damage. I don't get why you're retiring. Yeah, there's definitely going to be no, a there's no this damage. Introduced, Matt. I was thinking about this, there's definitely going to be a rule that's going to be introduced, but talking about rules, fucking hell, Dania got a bit aggressive there with Trolley. Bloody hell, that was, that was a bit close to comfort, but yeah, Matt, I may introduce a rule that says you have to have a valid reason to retire from the Grand Prix. Like, if you actually, like, crash out um, of the race, then fair enough. Or oh, you got bad for being that much, you're really far behind, and yeah. You know, if you're, if you're just retiring because you're far behind or because whatever, there's not there's not real any reason for you to be retiring. So, I think that needs to be um, revised. Um, but, uh, Matex then. Two temps behind Yavis Tugray. Yavis Tugray's really um, controlled this sprint so far, Matt, I must say. He's really controlled the, the pace here. It's a sector two yellow. That's, um, cooking, cooking, I'll stop it. Round the outside of turn one. So they're doing a switch back move here, get a Brexit on turn two. Cooking. Got a nice run out of the centre. Too much time though, we've got Mika and Nigral side by side. Fucking hell, that was that was good move there from the Frenchman. Nigral's up to P5 now and Mika is P6. Outside, he's going to get the move. That was going to push off the circuit. cooking has got away with penalties from now. Come on, Crooken, because you need to keep within three yeah. seconds of uh, Calamir. This is really not helping Crooken's um, quest to get a good, um, well, at least P9. And now he's gone wide. He's going to have a much better exit there than the Haas. Yeah, I mean, Jepper, I don't know. As well. I mean, I don't know what Jepper was expecting when he's seen going up inside there. He should have knew that. Crooken! Yeah, he starts last off the race. Gilmaz getting involved as well, Matt. Yeah, last off the race. race. Away in Turkey. Oh this is action, action, action. Trolley's on the inside of Danya. To be fair, Matt, Danya hasn't shown very good ways. Well, yeah, he hasn't really had decent pace in this race, but talking about decent pace, Crooken still can't that get That was a massive corner here. cut, but he gets away with it. His last chance to move. He goes straight, DRS. He just doesn't have to drink my speed, Crooken. He's really lucky he's running his speed. He's going to get pushed wide again here. Yeah. Barking out, what is going on? Crooken just overtake him. What is going on? Jepo, Jepo, and now Jepo. we got the horse on the inside. Drapo around the outside. Fuck me, hallelujah. And then you got Crooken, and he's going to get overtaken by Han, by um, Han Yilmaz. And then you got the Ferrari Stop, trying to dip, him, dip his nose on the inside there. Fucking hell. I just got. Hell, I, ju I, is... I just got like, I think it was like season 13 vibes, whatever it was. When I did the double overtake, when I, when I did the double overtake there on Eke and someone else. Give it guys one, Malik. <coughs> May take second. Oh, bloody hell, it's the end of the sprint. Yavis wins the sprint. I, I got a bit carried away there, man. That was a great little battle. Um, oh, first probably. is Yavis. Crashed down the straight. That would have been lovely to see in real life. Oh, lovely job, mate. I thought it was Oh, this would have been so this would have been some lovely Instagram content now, if that happened in real life. Oh. That would be quite a ruin as well. Stuff. That would have been banging. Right, Matt, do you want to try the Twitch one more time? Or? Uh, well, Matt, I, I think it's running well, so we'll just, we'll, just, we'll just go with it now. We'll just go with it. I'll just, um, just change the controller, yeah. just in case that was a reason why or something. Well, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll continue, you know, so it's less, less stressful for us. I think it's working well, so we'll just, we'll just push on. Uh, Yavis Tugramat will be P1 on the grid. So does does um, I'm confused. So SRB is it pole from qualifying or pole from the sprint? 
pop from qualifying. Okay. It was only it was uh, it was second. yeah it was twenty twenty one it was it was there uh, for the sprint. Okay. Second is Maytex. Third Joey. Fourth Ilton. Fifth Nigra. Sixth Mika on his debut. Good little uh, race there from him. Seventh Daniel. Eighth Charlie. Ninth Callum. Tenth Draper. Eleventh Crook and twelfth. Cartel Yan uh, Yilmaz, 13th Danny, 14th Toby, 15th Slop, um, and then Petrovic and all the others um, are missed. Um, so then, Matt, uh, it was a very entertaining sprint there, as you'd expect at Brazil. I'm hoping it's not as eventful for me tomorrow, because obviously, you know, I've got a win, so do you know what I mean? Um, but, oh, oh, Matt, 24 hours to go, love it. Uh, hopefully there's no um, glitches um, as we had yesterday. That was that was for the sprint now. Okay, well we should we should be fine then. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean that. Here in Turkey, I never forget that was because I was the host. Oh okay. Uh, right. That was probably the um, issue because I'm the spectator. So, don't issue. Yes, Matt. So obviously, uh, Matex got seven points in the sprint. Crooken got no points in the sprint. Which means now the gap is two points in favour of Matex. So Crookens two points behind Matex now, going into this Brazilian Grand Prix, Sao Paulo, Brazilian, whatever you want to call it, um, race. Matt, how important is it to keep out of trouble for the championship? Because we've got a two a, a two horse race now. Realistically, who is the favourite to win the championship? <laughs> Honestly, who is it? Matex and Crookin. Matex and Crooken, and then Danny's a little bit. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, according to this race, Matex is on, is got the edge on Crooken at the moment. So I'm gonna say, I think obviously, yeah, I'm gonna say Matex. I think, despite I think he's behind him uh, by two points, but I think Matex is in a better position. Here. He's, you know, when you're fighting, when you're fighting for championship, you're fighting for the higher points and. Just a few positions can make a big difference, especially with only three races to go. Yeah. Next week, Matt, won't be as eventful. We go to Zamvort next week, which, to be God. honest, I'm not I'm not really looking forward to next week. To be honest. It's going to be a pretty dire race in terms of battle. It's going to be more about strategy and keeping it um, off the curbs and out the, out the, out the gravel traps. Uh, but here in Sao Paulo, Matt, as you know, I've been to this race in real life. It was... Incredible. When when the drivers went away on this formation app, I was like, bang, this like a Booyaka. It was very like, fast formation app, which is if they all wanted less today. It was like a Booyaka in the place. But I must say, when you're there, I don't know if you felt the same at um, Spain, Matt, when you went to the Spanish Grand Prix. The race seems like it literally lasts for five minutes. It's so yeah, fast. it's because you're not keeping track of the laps and stuff like that. It just seems the cars go by, you lose track of it. They actually go really quick because when you're actually watching it on TV, you see the laps, you see the lap times, you can't see in track of what's happening, so it feels longer. But because it's just yeah. happening, you don't, you're completely unconscious of the time. Well, then, That's Matt, why I thought Yamas it. Oh, is Callum. on pole position for this Grand Prix in P1, he lines up P1, winner of the sprint. Second is Matex, third is Joey, fourth is Ilton. Here we go, Matt. Who is going to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix live from Italagos? I'm going to say Joey, even under the mediums. Could, could be Elton here on the Haas. It's Cinco Lights, Aki, no Interlagos, vamos, vamos, vamos. Matex, great, great start. Matex, great start there as they come down to turn one. Side by side with Yamas Tugra, Matex leads the Brazilian Grand Prix as they come down to turn one. Yamas Tugra needs to try and get the move done as they come through the, the Esto Senna. Through the oh, Cover Delago now, and Yamas Tugra is going to be using that overtake mode as they approach to Decida Delago as they come round. Now, round the outside goes Yamas Tugra, and Matex is going to defend that position hard as they come round. Callum's going to defend the position from uh, Trolley as well. It's all kind of action, action, action in the midfield. Got the Red Bull of Krogo. Krogo's the inside of Krogo span. Krogo has been involved in another collision on that one in tier two, Matt. What is going on? Um, here and the McLaren's out as well. Callum span. Do that tomorrow for your car. And Danny's in P15 now, Matt. Bloody hell, that was an eventful, that one. Yeah, I think Coco Cargo, you just opened the steering up and it just caused contact with the cars uh, along our oh, high side by the side of them. 
And I think it was Slop oh. and Toby that made contact at turn two and turn three. Oh, bloody hell, there's been a spin trolley, trolley. again. What yeah. A trolley with this trolley wheels, free roaming everywhere. Bloody hell. What is going on, Matt, here in Brazil? That's why I think the trolley Crazy joke. Crazy start. And now you've Not got Skeno versus Slop up to turn one. Like Skeno's got a straight line speed here. Around the outside. And Slop's gonna late break, but Skinner's gonna have the line. Yeah, no do yet. Yavis! Yeah, Joey, Joey, oh, Connor! Joey's on the inside, don't battle, come on, you need to overtake Matex for the championship at least, come on. There's been another collision. Okay, Matex um, for the championship. Span. Danny's out. Danny's, Danny's out. out, Danny's out of the Grand Prix! He's pinned it at the exit turn for Maldi. It's a virtual safety car. Virtual safety car has been deployed. Let me see if I can see it. We can see it. Yeah. Danny is Extra out turn of four. the Paulo Grand Prix. He's out of the championship as well, man. DJ yeah. Danny is out of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. First is Matex. No safety car. It's, it's, not, been a good, it's um, not been a good week for Danny. No. Well, we'll see him next week in Netherlands. I think he'll be happy as well to be staying in Tigger yeah. anyway. Maybe try and challenge and him. Yeah, well, we, we might be digging up in Austria tomorrow as well, uh, next week as well, Monday. Oh, yeah, we've got Austria in Tier 1, and then we've got um, Tier 3 um, closing its doors on Season 21. We go to Abu Dhabi next week. That's going to be beautiful. Another Twilight race for me, Matt. Love it. Uh, Joey, then, is going to try and, after this virtual safety car, Matt, he's going to have to... Here we go. We're back racing. Joey needs to get this position now. Brooklyn, he's got, got P9. DRS a lot to of close Matex down. It's been like anything can happen, you know. Joey can get the move done. All these guys can get moves done. And then there you go. Pull your car. It's all opened up again. Anything can happen in, in, in Formula 1. Uh, but Matt, what an eventful first two laps to the Grand Prix. Very eventful. Yep. Uh, very eventful indeed. Joey's keeping his touch close to Matex. And Matex is going to quite a wide line through there. This section I just really don't like, because William is that Skinner, I think. Round, bang, look look face backwards. Spam. Skinner. Oh, oh my god, Trolley's on the curb, but now I, uh, I don't know what that corner's yeah. called, but, um, Skinner's Prago's, Prago's, Prago's carrying in damage right now. We've got Toby so. trying to get to, Toby's going to be fuming. Yeah, don't forget, Cargo's got some front wing damage on the left hand and side. And Matex, Matt has lost the lead. Matex has lost the lead. DRS. Of move, the Sao Paulo move. Grand Prix. Yeah, DRS. I was pretty sure of that. And Michael Troyer back to his Great stuff. Well, that better last another um, half an hour. Yeah. Matt, if we could um, try and get Skinner in. I think he might have left. I think, I think that might be a rage trip now, though. But I'll try. Could be leaving anyway. Um, Dania then. No need. When Dania's racing at 2am in the morning, Matt, there's no need to retire from the Grand Prix. Um, he's going to try and set his sights now on Ilton. I've got to say, Matt, there's some very oh, good Oh, Trolley on this is you know. flashed. I think with. Has Trolley oh, fucked it again? Trolley, what I think is going he's, on? he's made contact with, I think, with Toby or Carago. I won't be surprised if it's Trago, because Trago is carrying damage. Trago's involved in Kings Nash's division. I'm fucking in. I'm in my head. Park, Trago's crash. Was running in oh, yeah, flag. Trolley. Oh, he span again. He's retired. Matt, um, Petrovic was running in podium position yesterday. He's now running in P11. Watch off Trolley. shows how, how two tiers can be so different, but Trolley, it's not so different for him. Yet again. Trolley, the Mafia of tier two, tier two. Well, Yilmaz is on the inside of Petrovic. Go on, Yilmaz. He's of course streaming, Matt. Um, he's got his own little YouTube channel. Um, so he is streaming this Grand Prix. He's not got. He's got pace, Matt, but he hasn't got... He, he's a midfield. 
Yeah, I mean, if you, if you can keep it clean and hock onto like a Petrovic, Petrovic is obviously very quick, obviously he's got a podium yesterday, if it doesn't get penalised. Uh, if you can keep up with him, I think that'll be pretty good, but I don't think he will. Even on the mediums, I think he might struggle. Well, it's just good math to have more nationalities in the league, but talking about nationalities, Draper's going to be right on Mika's chuff now as they come down to turn one. I don't know how that's. I don't know what. I don't know what. What. I don't know what correlation that has to nationality. But German versus Dutch, I suppose. Um, which might be a bit controversial. Um, Cooken then, as they come through. Cooken's P9 Matt, so he needs to try and um, do something really special. Matt's gonna try and go for an undercut here. Or well, maybe even yeah, an overcut. There needs to be, there needs to be like a major. Um, Incident or a major situation, or just something, something that happens big in this race that means that he well can get some position. Because at the minute he's going to be two eighteen, going to be 16, eighteen points uh, behind Matex. Um, um, eighteen points behind Matex going to Netherlands. And Abu, so um, yeah, let's try and lose as many points as possible here, Matt. Yep. Uh, Maybe take obviously keeping it on the back of Joe for now. Let him go. Also got these hard runners of Elton and Dania. Uh, these races, their races, are the coming at the end of the race uh, when they're on, uh, oh, yes. they on, on their bare tires. So tires. if it just needs, Elton just needs to keep it within Diaz of Tugela, but he's just about hanging on there. Oh, I'm a bit wise for, for Elton there, not being the greatest line. Yavis, man, I must say, Yavis is, is, is definitely, um, obviously, I think he got a podium in Japan, was it? Um, or in one of the races, it weren't, no, it weren't Japan, I'm lying. One of the races, um, he Mexico. got a podium and now he's P4 here in Brazil. My point is, he's, 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 he's up there. Yeah. The next season, um, could well be, um, Yavis, could well be, could well be seeing Yavis to graph, um, yeah, we've never had a Turkish driver go for the championship map. Not even um, side effects or young as you know him. Um, back in season one. Um, so we've had a Turkish driver win the constructors map. That was uh, young uh, back in season two of Salba. But uh, apart from that. Talking about side by side and action, we've got Mika going past Drapo. And Cookin's going to join on to the back of that now, and Cookin's going to try and get the move down. But I feel bad, Matt, because if Cooken didn't get Span out in the sprint, he'd be... Up there. He'd be up there, you know. He wouldn't have lost too many points. So every lap is crucial now. I keep saying it, but I really hope this championship goes to Abu Dhabi now. I really want a championship to go to Abu Dhabi again. Yeah, a flag. Right, That's yeah. Cargo. He's managed to spin. Oh, no, span again. He's managed to spin on... Uh, with the wing damage. Only Cargo can so do confused. that. With what mean damage? Oh, God, that's quite done. Right, Matt, we've got a problem. Tugrat has lost DRS to Nigral now. Hasn't got the pace, has um, he? He hasn't got the pace. He's got some straight, good straight line speed here. He's caught about two tenths down the straight. Did use a bit of RS right, though. Danya, here we go then. Danya's got some decent pace, Matt, I must say. He's on odds as well, so they're going to. As he said, Matt, um, Ilton and Danya are going to start getting into their own now. Those cars are even going to start coming to them. The medium to fall off. Oh, Danya's getting Danny closer. Who's this? It's Danya's opportunity. Oh, Ilton defends. That, that was aggressive there. A late that move, was double uh... moving. I think that was a, I think that was a double move there, Matt. Didn't Ilton do that with Danny in Mexico? I think that was... Uh, no, that was Maytag. Oh yeah, long French driver. <laughs> that was definitely a double move. That was very aggressive defending from the Frenchman there. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was French. No, you don't no, want to no, no, no. upset the Kazakhstan. <laughs> Kazakh drivers, don't upset my Kazakh driver. <laughs> Papa just nuke you. Okay, Matt, thank you. Yeah, that really anyway, Benny was very close. Like a... now, anyway, so it's got no um, relations to Russia. 
Luckily, Dan, you speak Russian with me, so I can understand the point. Um, yeah, I think you was right, Matt, about Skinner. I think that was a rage quick, uh, rage quick from him. He's, he's had enough of, of Brazil tonight, I think. Yeah, and Yavis is just yeah. falling, falling back I mean, here. I mean, if I if I was involved in collision tomorrow, then I'd oh, then yeah, he's lost all the pace. Here, Drapo's making a double overtake. Oh bloody hell, Drapo's gonna go side by side with Mika as they come through to see the Delago. Side by side, Quokka's got the move done on Daniel. That's crucial for him. He's up for me. Oh, and there's been oh, a collision, and Quokka's through to P6. Boy, I can't in the place. Drapo, he didn't look like on the off board view. Just did not give Daniel or uh, Nick Mika any space. Pull your car in the blaze, bitch like Crooken. Major, major scenes. Nicker seems to have something intact, so he's alright to carry on. What is Slup doing? He's out. He's gone straight on at turn four. How's he done that? I think he's just gone Wait, straight on. Was there no turn. damage for Mika and Drapo? I don't think there was. Right, come on, Crocker. No fucking about now. See what I mean, Matt? Crocker's so good at just keeping it out of trouble. Mika is coming in. Maybe, maybe he did get them. Maybe he get a slight mowing damage. I mean, it's it is pits up top. Maybe he just thought a pit early. But I think there's a front wing change there. He's gonna, yeah, it's a front wing change. It's gonna be absolutely fucking livid. But it could be worse. It's it's it's, it's in the pit stop window, so it's it could be worse. If he was on the hards, if he's already on the hards, if he's on the hards, then it would be an issue. It could be worse, Matt, but it could be better. Yeah. But I like to say, I'd like say it could be worse. Oh yeah, I mean, you could have been your race over the early race. Um, I want to know why Yavis has not caught up um, the gap yet. He's 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 he's, he's, he's 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 been dropping the whole time, Aldi. So he needs to pick up pace because Crooker needs to. Um, Get these, get these positions. And he hasn't got the pace, because that's why he's been dropping time. It was 1.3, and it's dropped down well, to 1.5. Why hasn't he got the pace? This is Brazil, so I expect, you know, Yavis took himself the pace at Oh, look at oh, oh, pace. basic has got a great drive, and almost a look there on Dre, Dre, uh, of, uh, Joey. Is that cargo span again? Don't start it now. Oh, bloody hell. Nigrals. Nig oh, here we go. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Matt, the mm. thing I love about Brazil is you've got the two DRS zones. But you know what? I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to talk about what I love about Brazil because we, we, we'll be here until 2024. So I'm not even going to start talking, to be fair. But obviously, you've got the DRS zones, Matt, um, down the pitch straight. Yeah. Down the re retro, uh, the retro posh down, down for our turn three, back yeah. Straight. So you've got all the shit. Um, and all the opportunities to get the slip stream, um, and then just yeah, because you can use the first move. first DRS to get to batch up, and then use the one into yeah. out of DRSs to make a move there. Or you can do what I did if you lose good. if you use the place into turn one. Or I did a Raptor and a re overtake into turn four, which is Petro Vrotch, whatever you want to call it. What right, come on, let's get this move. Uh, Matex had a bit of bath there with Nigra out. Side by side. Here we go, Nigra. This is crucial for the World Championship. I'm always going to say that now for the next two weeks. And there you go. Smart. Matex has left PUR, yeah. Matt. And um, what's the saying? No love lost? Um, I've never understood that saying. Mm -hmm. No love lost. So does that mean that Nigra would still love Matex, even though he's left the team? Yeah. I guess so. so. It's confusing to me. I don't understand it. You know, I'm a loving person, so. Uh, P6 for Crook and then to try and get past um, Hilton. But yeah, every, all the time, Matt, all the time. It's all about where the positions are going to be lost. That gap's got to over a second, Maldi, on the ground, Joey. Matex is a good. Jagger is a good last corner here. Is that gap under one second? It might just be. Well, the thing is, man. No. no it's going to be on um, fresh mediums uh, in the next stint. And it's yeah. very quick. Tell you what. No, I know Jerry had D rates, but now he had great drive speed there. Gained two tenths. 
He has got DRS now. Now Gar's got DRS on Joey again. It's so hard to break the DRS around this circuit. If you're really good in the second sector, yeah. it's so difficult. If your opponent's really good in sector two, then it's really difficult to break that DRS. And when you don't have DRS, it's so difficult to get it back. I kind of wish I had a bit lower wings yesterday to try and help me defend and just pocket it sector two. Well, Matt, we'll be able to see a defence masterclass tomorrow. Do join us tomorrow, guys. ST Bamadi is back on home turf. Uh, I'm back. I'm ready. Uh, Bouyaka in the place. Um, I'll have my uh, meat on a stick, Matt. That was really nice, to be fair. I didn't understand what the man was saying to me. Um, no, the meat is the stick. Again. Matex has dropped off. Drepo, 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 Drepo. Oh, and he spun again. And he spun again. Look at that. But yeah, Matt, in the grandstand, I was offered um, meat on a stick. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. And it was banging. So I had another, another free um, on that day. So oh, Sunday was a great day. Well. Fargo spun he's, again. He's spinning with front wing damage. It I, been actually, really, it, Matt, it would have been I need pitted for no front wing. That's probably why he's... Oh, and jeppo has gone again. Oh, His name, he should, he should change his name to Car Cargo. Can't go. No, Car goes. No, can't go. Can't, go. can't drive. <laughs> can't go. Drepo's got a fire scene. That's a retirement. Well, Drepo's going to retire in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, you can't. Told you. Yeah. Right, no, well, Things like that from the Sunday ball. In Sunday, so it's straight Matt, to the Sunday. Call me the fucking weatherman, the fucking... Doctor Who. Call me Doctor Who, boy. Right, Joey's in the pits. Yep. Very the early stop. Anyway, so. It's these early stops here. I'd rather Drapo rest and get, you know, feels a bit better than races at the back. On to a hard, unsurprisingly. Right, yeah, so it's hard for Tugra, Joey, Petrovic has carried on, then Hilton and Danya, and Nigral as well. So, Crooken here. Is he going to get the undercut? Yeah, we got these guys got to warm the tyres. Oh, and Javi's in the pits, very, very close. Round. Here we go. Javi's had a very close to the barriers there on the exit. He's going to have cold tyres. Cooking's going to be all over the back of him. Coming into oh, sector two. Cooking the tyres. Cooking, cooking the tyres. to be nice and fresh. They're two laps old. So. Okay, Crooken. Yeah, he's going to, he's going oh, to that's the time Mika is out of the Brazilian Grand Prix. That's in the pit lane. Cooking's up the inside, Maldi. Brownie outside yeah, here. He's trying to he's trying to do it right now, Angina. He can't get the move done. I think he's going to have to wait for the DRS, Matt. Oh, he touched the grass. Oh, oh what a dickhead. He hit the grass there. I've, I've done that many times. Look, I didn't do it too many times yesterday. Last I season, it's horrendous of doing it. I think Mika's fuming. Cooking's lost the DRS now. He's fucked that. Yeah, yeah, he, he just lost DRS. Right, Hopefully. Nagra's in the pits. Nagra's in the pits for your car. Uh, Yilmaz is in the pits as well. Onto a set of hards. Had a very quiet race, Yilmaz has. Yeah, he race, just doesn't he's... seem to quite be there, does he? Our car goes retired. That's on circuit, Maldi. But Matt, it's been a clean race for Yilmaz. It's been a nice safety clean car. Race for him. Safety car has been deployed here in Brazil. And you what? This is just given Daniel Ilton and Parna probably the gift of the lead. Did I even see the safety car in real life? I'm so confused. Was there a safety car in real life, Brazil? I, I, I don't know, actually. Might have been. I don't think there was. Oh. But there must have been because Ricardo watched it. I don't know. Anyway, Daniel's going to come in. Ilton's going to come in. We are part. This is quite early, though, to be fair. I don't yeah. The hard I, so, I, I, I mean, if we don't pit, they're going to lose their pit stops. They have to pit. They have no choice. Yeah. Ilton oh, yeah. almost at the back of Daniel there and got a pound, 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 pound. He's got a pen. Look at that. Beautiful. Daniel, oh, Visit Sao Paulo. Guys, the side, the, the wall say visit Sao Paulo. I agree. I agree with that. Everyone go visit. 
Go and visit Boyacá. Migration host, that's cargo gone. Go and visit Sao Paulo. Go and visit Sao Paulo. It's incredible. It's incredible. Go visit. Go on. They're on Delta. He's going to pit lane not. He's going to go full oh, speed. Pissed. Petrovich is in the pits as well. Pissed, man. Petrovich. Matex going to be pissed as well. Yeah. It's just... Look at Danyakov. Yeah, look at that. Don't forget, I pitted lap 19. In racing what editions. What's Callum doing? What's going on with Callum? This is in the pits. Did he crash in the pits or something? Isn't it's his AI mode? I can't. I can't go into onboard he's view. Apparently in the pit. He was in, apparently in the pit lane, but he's driving down the street. Oh, Toby! What? The going what? What's going on? I'm gonna record that. Toby just glitched the barriers. On on the tr on the track, he just came out the pits. Yeah, he came back. He teleported onto the track. Crazy scenes here in Brazil. Absolutely fucking crazy scenes. Right. Oh, what did I just witness? Um, so Matt, the order now after the pit drivers made the pit stops. Nigral will take P1. Interesting, but he's got Dania and he's got Ilton behind him. Matrix is in P4 now. Why is Callum in AI? Callum's in AI mode and his, AI, his driver's constantly making changes. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know, Matt. Hold on, let me check this Toby glitched the lobby. I think the lobby's glitched, Matt, because cargo. Matt, 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 Matt. It says Toby's in P1, Matt. Yeah, it might be glitched, yeah. Mass no Dania, Ilton, Matex, I think because the host has left, which the lobby a bit, so it might sort itself out when Toby finishes. The or just, so I don't know, to be honest. And there's no way that Toby is P1. Um, no. Also, Skinner has left the server. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you back down to the level. Okay, that's good. Yeah, right, that's that sort of thing. Yeah, man, I don't know why. Nothing, I don't actually know what happened. Nothing happened. So. They're still on AI, though. Nothing happened to him. Who? Toby or Callum? Toby and Callum. Everyone's in AI mode for me. Wait. No. Because Joe looks like he's in AI. Yavi looks like he's in AI. Cooker looks like he's in AI. Petrovich looks like he's in AI. His car's in this lap. The, the, lap, the yeah. only person who doesn't look like he's in AI mode is Matex. Well, well anyway, Matt, who, who cares? Who cares? What's going on? What, why is there such a massive gap? It's Matex. Matex is the leader. I don't know what's going on. Why is there a massive gap? What's going on? Why is there a massive gap? Maldi, I think we might need to leave here. I think both of us might have to leave. I think we've, I think we've got a glitch here going on. I'm going to leave, Maldi. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to leave. I'm going to rejoin. Okay. And I'm going to see what happens. Because so according to this, only Matex is actually driving right now. Everyone else is in the AI mode. You're not ghosting. Everyone's in the AI though. I could tell by the steering and the, the throttle and braking inputs. AI mode. AI mode. I don't know what's oh, going on. Oh, I just paid off. You just stopped streaming? Um, no, I haven't stopped streaming. Oh, it's just, 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 it's just says, it, just, it just says you appear online. Oh, it's because I've left the game. I'm going to join it back now. Sorry about this, guys watching. I don't know what is going on. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. that they wouldn't leave a gap like that. Yeah, I think it was a glitch. Only Matex was actually driving this car. Everyone else is still like in AI mode. Matex is now the host. That's probably the reason why he was, he was like that. No, it's not even letting me join the session. I'm in. What was my section? Mega lights per second is in. Oh, 
Oh my. Okay, it said, it said half the lobby was DNF for a second then. I was scared. Yeah, everything's fixed on my screen, Maldi. Everything's fixed. It's not fixed on mine because my game's froze. No grass leading. Cave out in second. Ilson in third. Yabby sixth. Petrus is seventh. Cook in eighth. Carter on ninth. Please, Matt. Can I have an invite? Invite to game. Yep, yeah, come 10th, Toby 11th, and Skane 12th, obviously. Yep, yeah, so everyone's actually working now. Everyone's actually driving. Matex oh, actually. On, Matex is 7 tenths behind Ilson. Okay, right, that's fixed. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> new patch, new bugs. That's what it is. Welcome to F22. Right, let's hope well, let's hope that the game that's, can let me in now. It's the it's the, it, it's, the, it's, it's the AI it's EA Co-Masters combination of glitches, that's what it is. Beautiful stuff. Right, sorry about um sorry for, uh, to the viewers watching. We're now back in action here in Brazil. It is lap twenty two. What the fuck is going on? Okay, it's working now. Yeah, it said DNF for me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My well. beat is fucked. It, 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 heart, <laughs> my heart went out of my mouth for a second. I saw that. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> right, yeah. First is... Um... Oh, Joey, you said a Matex. Oh, Matex. Oh, oh. Let me get all the stuff back up. Right, time. So, Daniel and Elton are on the mediums. So they're going to be right behind Nagra now. Let's get all the details up. Oh, and Kibet. Oh, oh. I think that's other side there, please. Toby and Cartel. Toby and Cartel. Or Car. It's not Cartel, it's mm. not Cartel. I think it's Cartel. Oh, yeah, Cartel. <laughs> so, and if they push off the track there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, are you, are you, are you, oh, 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 hold on, Matt, hold on, there's battle into turn one, fucking hell, Jesus Christ, Daniel's on the inside, here we fucking go, Daniel leads, better tires. Elton's going to have a look move as well, Daniel takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix, and now you've got Elton down the straight, DRS, yep, go in, now you have to Yeah, Maldi, you put thought. No. You thought uh, you've had thoughts of putting Fatal into tier three, or um, because it doesn't seem well, to be quite with it, does it? Yeah, not but tomorrow because there's a there's an assignment for STB Maldi tomorrow, so we can't be thinking about <laughs> other drivers. Yeah, May. Um, it just doesn't seem to be quite in the pace. The doesn't seem to be quite in the pace, is it? Well, you know, I said to him, Matt, you know, we'll put you in tier two and then we'll see how you do. And then if we need to change, we'll change. And he said, that's fine. So, um, yeah, he just said he's very happy to um, to be in a league outside of Turkey. So, it's a pleasure. Right, and to be fair, Matt, Crooken's not that far back from Matex here. Matex seems to be quickly on the target. He hasn't got the same sort of pace that he's uh, on Every time cooking cuts that corner, it gets every time. Right, come on, here we go, Alfa Romeo in the slipstream of Tugra. Don't battle this. Don't battle this, please, Tugra. Elton's got a penalty. Pretty sure Matex is off the track as well, Matt. Matex is struggling. Yeah, low on the RS and on the hard tyres. Cooking is going to be licking his lips. Yeah, Cooking is. And Elton, no, Cooking and Matex are both on the oldest tyres I'll ever want on the hard compound. It's a bit strange because they are on the exact same tyres, the exact same wear. So that is interesting to see why one's struggling and one's not. Kogan doesn't know that though yet. That Matex is that far behind. Well, I don't know. Matex doesn't have the, doesn't have the same amount of pace. Might be because he's oh no, not got the RS. Which you got 0% now, Matt, so he's going to be really chugging down. Yeah, that's, a, that's 160 horsepower, I think. That's more, that's more horsepower than I got. That's twice as much horsepower than my car. Here we go then, Petrovic's going to have the DRS down the retro posture and the ERS as well to play with. Yeah, Petrovic is going to have the DRS down the retro and the ERS as well to play with. Yeah, Petrovic's gaining, gained about 10th just down that straight alone. Come on, Petrovic! Booyaka! 
Mopo's got 20% lovely. Yeah, I'll last you tonight. Well, this is this is nice now, mate. The race has calmed down a bit now. I like it when the race calms down a bit. Yeah, but you don't make it calm or race out, do you? No, we don't. We'll have a bit of action. We'll have a little break from the action, and then we'll get into it, and then we'll get back into it. Petrovic increases the game, closes Matex here. Matex is still struggling with Come his on, ERS. Yeah. Come on. Matex has held on Jerry. Get into it, it will get Jerry, uh, Jerry, right into it. Jerry, surprisingly, quite struggling quite a lot. I think Niagara is just hooking into the lack of the medium runs here. Jerry's really struggling on these tyres. Well, he needs to maybe back up Matex into into cooking. I'm just thinking strategically, Matt, about the. Oh, here goes Petrovic. That's all I'm thinking about. Up the inside. Here on the go. inside, here we go. Come oh, on, battle, 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 battle. <laughs> yeah, back switch on three lap younger medium tyres. Definitely going to help him. Next is Joey for Petrich. Although Ilton and Dania both um, were given free tickets with the safety car. No. Um, but yes, Matex then. Uh, Tug was in the DRS of Matex as well. Yeah, Cartel is just... Cartel is... It's, uh, it's not really anywhere, is he? Unfortunately. I mean, it, was, it was on the pace on the mediums. It was on the pace on the mediums, Matt. I must say. Yeah. It the the well, it was kind of helpful because a lot of people are making mistakes in that first thing. So it's kind of... Kind of makes sense. Oh, and a very close between Daniel and Elton. Elton had the luck there. Oh, this is banging. Up the top here. The top of this. Oh. Well, right. There's no collisions. Nigra is just taking his time. He's just waiting for those mediums to slowly go. Come on, Nigra! He had, a, he had a really bad race yesterday, Matt. He had a really bad race I yesterday. Swear to God, I swear to God, every single driver I point out, you're like, Go on! <laughs> go on, my guy. Go, go on, on Elton. Come go on, on Daniel. <laughs> go on, Jerry. Go on, Petrovic. Go on, Matex. You're oh, like, go oh, on, <laughs> 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 Banging. Right, Crooken, come on. Get your, pet, get your shit together now for your car. I don't know, Matt. I reckon rain would have really spiced things up today. Go I'm way. not ever going to say that because we all know what's going to happen tomorrow now. <laughs> oh, if it hasn't rained in one shot qualifying, two, like, two races in a I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, if it rained twice in, in two one shot qualifying. Oh, 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 Daniel, mm. that was good defending there from the Kazakh driver. I love saying that, Matt. Oh, so very close. Oh, 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 don't do it, Danny and yeah, it's so was. unique, but I don't think many people oh, oh, would say that oh, we've got a Kazakh oh, driver oh, that's talking. Oh, oh, oh no, Hilton, Hilton, no! He saved it. He's kept it. He's kept his tyre. Oh, and Mercedes is going through him. But he saved it. Maybe a bit of loss rear end there. God knows. Lost the rear end, and I think he's letting people through it. What's going on oh, here? Must have some sort of issue. God knows. What? He doesn't seem to have any damage though. His front wing looks seems intact. Lost rear end. He made contact uh, with the barriers, but it seemed like sidewall type contact. It didn't seem like actual front wing damage loss situation. I don't think uh, I think she's just going to set a sauce. Maybe he thinks time maybe his tires are already gone for him. I don't know. So he's he stayed on the grid slot, he's grid on his on his pit box for quite a while. Can Crook and hurry up a bit, please? Like can he like hurry up? He's on the oldest set of hards now, Lee. Come on. Yeah, but he needs to get these positions, Matt. He's losing weight there. Let me do quick mouth. 10, 6, 4 points here. Gap's going to be 6 points behind Matex. That's not good. 
Well, he's got Yavus in front of him. He's always he's going to probably get Yavus, and then when he gets Yavus, he'll hopefully have get that will get DDR yeah, on Matex. He needs to sort his shit out and get up. Get this is up. A championship map. This is important. This is McCrooken's second championship in STB. This is a big deal, Matt. Light splash on Yavus' car. Crooken uses DRS to catch up here. Come on, Crooken! Oh, a poor exit there from Crooken. Come on, you sort your shit out. Got seven laps to do this. I can't remember if he had confidence at Netherlands or not either. I can't remember. What's oh, happening? Be honest, you really need to like the track. If you don't, if you don't like the track, you're not gonna have that. What's the word? You know that um, that drive to really wanna do well. You know, or well, cooking hard or whatever. But... Despite being a pad user, he always seems to do quite well on on the wheel tracks. Or what would be quoted as wheel tracks. Well, he's got a hope, Matt, that he can pull something out of the bag in Netherlands to try and get ahead. The championship, Matt, definitely is on course to go to Abu Dhabi. I'm just hoping that it's not too much of a gap. I'm honest. We need double points. Um, <laughs> well, I mean... 2014 style. I don't know why they did that back in the day. It yeah, it was a weird one. Right, Cook is going to have a DRS again. Yeah, but he's six tenths behind to make that five tenths. And it's just going a lot better than the brakes. Just needs to keep the car under control there. He doesn't seem to be able to get the car rotated very well through there. No, don't touch that curb. Don't touch Gaining, 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 gaining. Oh, Petrovic and Joey. Oh, Petrovic side by side with Joey. There is a battle now on our hands, Matt, for P3. These are the podium positions here in Brazil. Bring Matex into it as well. We can bring Yavas and Crooken into it as well if they get their act together and push the cars. To be fair, Matt, Yavas had a very good sprint. I think I think he'll be quite um, quite happy with his performance. Uh, his, you know, I think he's had a decent race. Could be better, but it could be worse, you know? Yeah. Right, gap six tenths now, so he's a bit closer. Oh, three tenths, two tenths. Matt Crooker needs a good good run onto it right a posture. He just can't he can't he can't find uh he can't find the um the exits Matt. He needs to try and have a good exit out the corner. And he'll be able to, to you know, Dan penalty! Danya has picked up a penalty in Brazil. That could well be curtain to Joey needs to get his arse into gear now if he wants that second place. Hopefully his medium is going to start going off soon. I think Negro probably won't even want to fight him now because of that. Come on, there's four laps to go. Come on, Love Island started 12 minutes ago. Come on, right, Rubin to the DRN. Once again on the others. Oh, he's closer now, Matt. He's closer than he's ever been before. He's closer. He's going to dive on the inside of Est of Estor Senna. This is for the championship battle. Come on, Crooken, get this move done. Come on, please. Please, Crooken. Here we go in the DRS. Crooken's going to go defensive there. Come on, Crooken, we're only at the look at that. That is a champion's move right there. That is a champion's move, boy, I can't. Look at that stuff. Both of them using it, draining their batteries right down to the bottom there. But Crooken had a little bit extra just to play with. Come on, Crooken. P number six. Man, I fucking love Brazil. Fucking love it. Right. Uh, yeah, as you said, Matt, Joey needs to get his active gear. Active gear, he wants to get P2 in this race. Yeah, the map so far, he's going to be uh, two tenths down. 
Two tenths down. Nagra closes on Dania down the street with DRS. Gavis might be having to go on cooking again. I think it's Jerry's just pulled away from Petrovic here, which is exactly what he needs. Yeah, flag, it's Ilton. It's Ilton. What's going on with Ilton? Why is he suddenly struggling? Oh no, he's going to get lapped. Don't give Danya some DRS. Yeah, and I'm not, not looking good to Jerry at the moment. For the second place. I don't think he has the pace, Yavi yeah, especially behind him. Well, at least he got past Yavu, so that's the main thing. Let's say they're going difference two points. It can make all the difference Those two points. Yeah. Yeah, but well, tenth won't be enough now, but you know well, that. Matt. Don't be so negative, okay? Yeah, that's a hot shot. Right. Oh, look at Gavu's here. He's got that straight line oh, speed no. here. Oh, fuck off. This is been... No, go away. Oh. Just has to do it on speed. He's my own take. Oh, fuck off, please. Cooking will get the second bite of the cherry. Second what, sorry? Second bite of the cherry. Right, mate, he's got one now. opportunity. Yeah. He's got one. Cookin's been saving his battery. I don't know why you have using his battery down there. It's the pointless yeah, place to on. use this. Cookin, save that battery. That's just Elton retiring. Oh, oh there's been contact! The back of oh, dear. Yeah, now Cookin's got a bit of battery now. Well, Cookin's is on 15%. Come on, come on. Cookin's got 27%. Cooking really struggles for this corner. Yeah, because he's on the pad, I think. I struggle around there as well, to be honest. Some laps I can hook the curve, sometimes I shit myself. Right, here we go, Matt. This is the final opportunity for Cooking in this Brazil Grand Prix. Past where I sat, in real life. I'm begging, I'm begging. Tucker's going to have D-rates all the way down this, uh, down this next straight, Matt. Cooking, cooking a poor exit. Yeah, cooking a poor exit. Cooking needs to use all his overtake, which is a big mistake. He should have saved it. I think that, I think that, I think that. Yeah. Curtains for cooking now. Yeah, cooking should. Oh, he lost friend as well. Cooking should have saved his DRS there. He shouldn't have used it because he could have used that now into the down to the DRS straight. But the problem is cooking. He really struggles through the last part of the sector. But anyway, Dania has well. got a penalty, but it will... Joey's is within three seconds here. It will cost him in this Grand Prix. He's going to come around Jean Sao. Three, two, so these are those boxes. And Dania Kvyat is going to be your provisional. Brazil winner, but Nigra will take P1 and Joey will take P2. Third will be Dania, fourth will be Petrovic. Fifth, your new championship leader, Matex. I will do the maths in a minute. Um, I think it's two points to gap now. So, two points before this race, which was 10, 6, 4. So, Matt, I think the gap is six points now. Matex and Crooken in the championship. Matex is six points ahead now. Um, obviously, we will calculate that up and see. Um, are you still here? Are you, are you with us? Yeah. That is your Sao Paulo Grand Prix live from Brazil. I'm going to wrap things up very quickly because uh, my show's on. So we've got to. You know, but uh, Buyaka in the place. Um. The race winner is Nigro here in Brazil. Good race that map. Very um, interesting stuff. And there we go to the final two rounds of the season. Nigro is your race winner. Uh, second was Joey. And third 
was Daniel. Great stuff. Fourth was um, well, we've got to go for actually results race. Fourth was Petrovic map. Uh, fifth was Matex in the end. Sixth was Yavuz. Seventh was Crooken. Eighth was Callum. Ninth was Toby. Tenth was Yilmaz in the end. He was the only driver out there, guys, that finished that only was in the 111s. Eleventh, uh, Skeno. Um, obviously, he was AR the old race. Um, whatever. Twelfth, uh, Ilton. And your non finishers were Mika, Krago, Drapo, Slup, Trolley, and Danny. Um, quite a dis disappointing race for Danny tonight, Matt. Um, but I think he can just now look look towards the next few races and look towards next season now, I think. Um, yeah, it's not been what he's uh, what he needed, Matt, um, for this season. No. But, guys, that is your STB Racing League Season 21 Heineken Brazilian Grand Prix, Sao Paulo Grand Prix, live from Interlagos. Um, that is your race. Tomorrow... It is the Simon. It is the biggest race of the season. STB Maddy will be out on the track. Uh, do join us at 4pm for the grid walk um, for the track guide. Uh, <laughs> join us at 5pm for the hotel tour. And then join us at 8pm, uh, in all seriousness, for the Tier 3 Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Where it is going to be a banging race. Um, next week is a slightly different, obviously, due to um, the Xbox One bug that affected Austria in Tier 1 and the World Cup fixture that, for some reason, we took advantage over the race in Netherlands. Uh, Tier 1 will be going to the Red Bull Ring. The Land of the Trees map will be going to that, uh, that track in Tier 1 for the penultimate round of the season. Uh, Tier 2 will be going to Zandvoort and Tier 3... Well, we're going to finish a week early because we're just the, the elite tier. Um, and we've got an extra holiday. We've got an extra week, absolutely. You might as well just give us four more weeks, make it a spring a spring holiday, absolutely. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have all the holidays. Uh, do join us next week in Abu Dhabi for that. But tomorrow we go to Tier 3 Brazil. And what a, uh, what a race we potentially could have tomorrow. We'll see you um, next time.